February 22nd and uh, we continue to read from the Mahabharata an English translation by Kamala Subramanian This is chapter 3 The Fisherman's Daughter Four years passed in the company of his son the king passed many happy days Shantanu doted on him and Devavrata was an ideal son He was lost in his father It seemed as though he wanted to make up to his father for all his years of loneliness they were inseparable the king crowned devavrata as yuvaraja the people were delirious with joy fate all the while was playing a waiting game the sight of unsullied happiness is too much for her she always manages to add the bitter drop to the cup of joy one day the king had gone out hunting he was alone as he was going along a strange perfume assailed his senses it was a perfume he had never known before it overpowered him with its sweetness picked by this strange perfume the king followed it he wanted to trace it to its source he went on and on at the end of the quest he saw that the source was a woman he had reached the banks of the river yamuna there on the banks of the river he saw a beautiful woman she was in the act of tying up the boat her form was faultless she was perfect no other word could describe the beauty of her limbs her face her eyes the eyes were downcast now with shyness as though she could not bear the intensity of the king's gaze her form was ill concealed by the garb of a fisher girl shantanu looked at her he wanted her he went near her and said who are you what are you doing here she spoke in a soft voice i I am a fisher girl my father is the king of the fishermen it is my duty to ply the boat between the two banks of this yamuna river the king went straight to the father of the girl and said i am shantanu the monarch of the race of the moon i come from the city hastina while i was hunting in the forest a strange perfume teased me I followed it to the banks of the Yamuna. There I saw a beautiful woman. She told me that she is your daughter. I want her for my wife. The king of the fishermen was profuse in his words of supplication. He said, "You are right, my lord. The perfume is part of my daughter and it led you to her. In this entire world there is no other person more fit to have my daughter." than your noble self to be the queen of the paurava monarch is the greatest honor that can befall a poor fisherman that can befall a poor fisher girl i am quite willing to give my daughter to you in marriage but my lord there is a condition if you are willing to grant that my daughter is yours the king was impatient he said if it is possible to grant it i will certainly grant you your conditions as you call it the fisherman said it has been said that the son of my daughter will be heir to the throne of the king if you promise to make the son born of her the king of hastina after you i will give her to you willingly the king was speechless he was thinking of ganga of the day when she brought devavrata to him saying i present this hero to you take him to the home of heroes the face of his beloved son came to his mind's eye the son whom he had crowned as the yuvaraja he thought of the bond of love that bound him to devavrata without a word shantanu returned to his chariot with a heart full of pain and a longing for the unattainable the king returned to the city this ends chapter 3 of the english translation of the mahabharata by kamala subramanian
the chapter titled the fisherman's daughter